Hey guys, it's Ed Barton from CrushSocialAnxiety.org again here and today I want to talk about supplements. Now supplements are a multi-billion dollar industry and in my opinion they're a bit of a scam. Now these are all the supplements that I used to take in my, my endless pursuit to overcome social anxiety and I can pretty much say that none of them had a substantial impact on me. Okay, and if you're like me, I'm sure you're looking at taking supplements or you've tried a bunch and you're hopeful that they're going to help you out. There's a lot of stuff on the internet that says, you know, they're a miracle cure or there's certain things that really are able to substantially reduce social anxiety. In my experience, that's actually bullshit, okay? None of that is really true. Um, I've taken ashwagandha, um, rosea rhodiola, chamomile, passion flower, all these things valerian root, 5-HTP, all these things, and none of them really move the needle on reducing my social anxiety, okay? So that is my experience. I should caveat that by saying that I do have friends, um, one particular friend who's taken ashwagandha, he said that's really helped reduce his insomnia. My mum, who also has social anxiety disorder, has reported that 5-HTP has helped her. Um, but, you know, Generally, I have not found them to help at all. One minor exception that I should mention is this here, and that's L-theanine. And this is a naturally occurring amino acid. And I found that if you have one of those tablets when you have a coffee, it creates a very kind of focused and quite calm state. But that's really more for increasing my productivity um, than reducing social anxiety. And that's, that's kind of a very basic nootropic stack if you're interested in nootropics you can check that out. So, you know, none of this stuff, I spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars on all of this stuff, and none of it made a noticeable difference. And the other thing is that I think the supplement industry trades on is that even if you do see some impact, you don't know if it's a placebo effect, you don't know if it's because of the supplements, you don't know if it's from something else. So you end up just taking them anyway in case that it is them that's like having some positive effect on you. But none of this made as much difference to me as getting my diet on point. Uh, daily exercise, you know, made all the difference to me. Um, meditation, CBT, all the things that I talk about in my blog, in my ebook, in my videos, in, in other areas that you can check out. Um, n you know, none of this had that same kind of, you know, uh, rewards and gains as any of that stuff. So, you know, I caveat by saying that's only my experience. I've, you know, I know anecdotally of a couple of people who've had some positive impact from um, supplements, but you know, reishi mushrooms—they're extremely expensive. I bought them. Ashwagandha, rhodiola, 5-HTP—all these things—they they mount up in cost. You know, if you're trying them all, um, and I didn't get any real payoff. I had to go down other routes. You know, so by all means, experiment with them yourself. But my warning is that the industry can be a bit of a scam because you don't know if it, you know, it's the supplement that's making the difference. And m my total advice would really just to be to skip the supplementation route first and try and get more rewards from getting your sleep routine sorted, trying CBT, getting a regular meditation uh, routine going with yourself and getting to the gym. So that's all I wanna to say to you today um, on the subject of supplements. Subscribe to the channel, leave me your comments, I'd be really interested to hear what you think about this, and you know, follow me on all the other channels, and I'll speak to you all really soon.